You are a product of what you constantly feed yourself with. The world is becoming more and more immoral because people are being fed with garbage. People are being fed with sugar. People are being fed with the sugar-coded message. Not many people hear the truth. And so long as you continue to feed yourself with the wrong meal, I tell you the truth, you will never be healthy. That is why we live in a world that is sick today. Because instead of the watchmen to tell the people that, listen, you have to come out of the system of this world. You have to get yourself ready because the owner of this world is angry, is coming down with judgment. Instead of the warnings, what we get is that the watchmen have gone out into the world and they have brought the world into the church. The church is so worldly to the extent that it is difficult to differentiate who is a believer and who is not a believer. That is a time we have come to live in today. But the word of God is here and amen. Escape for your life. Come out of her. Come out of the great deception. Come out of the falling away of the masses of the many. Come out of the this false church system. Come out of her, my people. If you want to be saved, if you want to escape the wrath of God, come out of her. If you do not come out of her, it is going to be very, very terrible. Let me tell you something. There are things that a lot of people do not yet understand. There are things that a lot of people are ignorant of. We are talking about a battle that started when we were not born. A kingdom split out of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of darkness emanated from the kingdom of light. Lucifer was in heaven and he was perfect before God until iniquity was found in him. And from the time that iniquity was found in him, he was thrown down to the earth and he vowed to make as many as possible his followers because he knows that his time is short. In Revelation chapter 12, he knows his time is very short and he's doing everything possible to win as many as possible to himself so that he will not be condemned alone. He knows he cannot repent. He knows he is judged already. So he's doing everything possible to make sure that he deceives the children of men. And you know what? Many children of men have deceived themselves so it is no longer difficult for them to be deceived. Many of them have, have this hardened heart. So when they meet with deception, they are happy because their ears have been programmed to listen to lies. When you hear some of these false doctrines people preach, you'll be wondering that what kind of listeners do these people have? But I tell you, they are so popular. They are everywhere. They are welcomed. But people like us, we are not welcome. We are seen as the enemy of the people. As a matter of fact, a man was very angry with me because I said that one saved is not always saved. He said, I am distorting the gospel of Jesus Christ. He was furious and you could see the anger in him. He was very angry with me. He said, I am driving away sinners from the church. Let me tell you the truth. When the angels told Lot to leave, they were not serious. They were dragging their feet on the ground. As a matter of fact, he had to drag them out of the city he threw them out of the city because it requires some level of force. That is how today we don't care about what people say anymore, but we do the best we can according to the grace of God upon our lives to pull some out of the fire of hell.